Today we start off with the course of geometry by understanding the simple concepts of lines and angles. What is a line? A straight path that can be extended indefinitely in both the directions is called a line. The two arrows at the end of the line segment indicate that it is a line. What is a line segment? The difference between a line and a line segment is that a line segment is definite. It has two fixed endpoints, like in the figure shown, A and B are fixed endpoints, giving it a fixed def definite length and a size. Hence, AB is called as a line segment. Moving on, we understand what are an, what is an angle. The union of two non-collinear rays with a common origin is called as an angle. In the figure, you see that PQ and QR are two non-collinear rays with a common origin at Q. When we write the angles, it's depicted as angle PQR or angle RQP read in the anti-clockwise or clockwise direction, which is equal to 45 degrees. You can also refer to it directly with the help of just the common origin, saying that angle Q is equal to 45 degrees. Now measure of the angles. As you see in the first figure above, the, uh, on a flat line, uh, the angle is always 180 degrees. So the sum of angles which will be part of this uh, on the same drawn on the same line will always be 180 degrees. So if you know one of the angles, it's very easy to find the other one. Since I know one of the angles is 65, the other would be simply 180 minus 65, which is 115 degrees. Moving below, you see that A, B, C, and D are four angles drawn on the same line. Such angles are called as collinear angles. The sum of all of these is always going to be equal to 180 degrees. What is a right angle? An angle of 90 degrees is always a right angle. How is a right angle made? You see that when a line is drawn from a perpendicular is drawn from a point to a line, it forms a right angle which is always 90 degrees. So in the example shown here, PQ is drawn perpendicular to AB, hence the angle at Q is 90 degrees which is called as a right angle. The bisector of an angle. A line which divides the angle into two equal halves is called as the bisect is called as a bisector angle. So here you can see that L has bisected the angle PQR into two equal halves. Similar to an angle, a bisector can also be made for a line segment. So in the other second image, you see PQ bisects the line segment AB into two equal halves. In the image shown below, you can see that line L is drawn perpendicular to line AB. And it also bisects the line AB. Hence, it is referred to as the perpendicular bisector of AB, wherein the angle at the base will always be 90 degrees. Moving on, what are opposite angles? If you see in the figure, you see A and C are vertical angles and they are opposite angles, hence referred to as vertically opposite angles. Angle B and D are also opposite angles. One unique feature about these opposite angles is they are always equal. So, which makes our life very simple. So, if I see the line below, all I need to know is x plus y, as since I know is the collinear is always going to be 180 degrees. So, if you know one of the angles, it's easy to find the other one. Simple example to uh, understand whatever we've uh, understood till now, you see that you've given just one angle, which is b is equal to 60. Now, let's find out a and c. a and b lie on the same line, hence they're collinear. So, you have angle a is going to be 180 minus 60 which is 120 now you see that a and c are opposite angles hence must be equal so c is equal to 180 degrees 120 now if two lines are drawn which do not intersect each other they are referred to as parallel lines the summary of whatever we've learned today is that angles lying on the same line is always equal to 180 degrees they are called as collinear angles and opposite angles are equal